All right, so we are back, and I am just now seeing this again. I'm away from home. I'm away from my setup, so things are not as, as readily available. I'm trying to do media for this uh, Javante Tank Davis and Frank Martin fight. But one thing I had to talk about. We, we had to talk about this. Logan Paul and Bradley Martin got in a street-slash-gym bare-knuckle brawl straight-up fight that wasn't filmed on camera. And I get that. I actually kind of like that. I don't think this probably should have happened in the first place, but influencers' egos will run wild, and apparently this one was personal for both guys. Had issues in the past, wanted to settle it like men. Fair play. I think I can deduce, based on contact clues, what really happened here, because everyone is speculating and... Most people saying Logan won this fight. I think I can prove it definitively. Like a proper grammar teacher would and use context, clues, conjunction, junction, what's your f***ing function? Let's take a look at this video that Mike Malak posted saying, I made Logan Paul fight Bradley Martin. And we'll see who actually won this thing and why it even happened in the first place. The breakdown, let's go. I don't know if you guys saw the Full Send episode that dropped last week, but Bradley is has been talking some crazy fucking shit lately. He is claiming that he wants to do an MMA fight with Logan Paul. Logan's about it. Bradley keeps coming up with like this thing, that thing, like he wants it to be a business play, whatever. Logan's like, dude, listen, tell me where he is, get him to agree to it, I'll pull up, we'll do it in the parking lot, we'll do it wherever. I wanna just check with Bradley right now and see where, where he's actually at on this. Here's the thing, this has been going on, and Mike knows this, this has been going on for way longer than the Full Sin podcast where Bradley's like, I want to fight Logan MMA. This was happening, it's probably been years, but I remember when I was in London and they announced the prime card, but also Jake was about to fight Nate Diaz and Bradley had said, I think Jake's going to lose or I hope Jake loses to, to Nate or I hope he gets knocked out or something because Nate was on his podcast and Logan had something to say about it. And then him and Bradley went back and forth talking about doing things for clicks and all this attention, pull up to zoo culture and we'll fight in the street. That's where I remember this whole thing started, if I'm not mistaken. And also as far as Bradley wanting to get some money out of this, I don't mind that. I think he looked at this like a money play, like a, if we're going to fight, and but they both seem like they wanted to. Let's get something out of it. Let's promote it like a true influencer would, and there's nothing wrong with that. A businessman decision, but I guess Logan took it personally. Michael Jordan status, and if the event, I just want to run the face. You being here throws this no, no, conversation but, but here's He's the deal. He's a lot bigger than Logan. Don't put that it in does, there. He's like... I feel like he'd be... <laughs> First off, the fact she said don't put that in there is hilarious. Secondly, this is the thing that I think everyone gets so, so wrong that doesn't understand combat sports and how technique and skill and experience and time and cardio and all these things matter. I've told you guys what would happen if these two did ever fight. It was going to be Logan's fight to win every single time. Bradley has never participated in any length of period of time in combat sports. He almost exclusively trains for size and mass. Logan is a high level high school wrestler, is trained boxing for the last five years, has actually done some jujitsu and rolled and experienced grappling on a very high level. These things all combined were of course going to lead to Bradley losing this thing. Like make no mistake about it, I told you guys this a year ago, this is what was gonna happen. But the fact that you have someone like this girl, I'm not sure who she is, the fact that she just thought, oh, Bradley big equals going to crush Logan is the quintessential nature of what people that don't watch or understand or train combat sports think about a fight. The whole thing is like, do I want to blow that and not cash in at all? On but you'd be blowing it against like the like a real actual opponent. Yeah, he has no it. wins. What you that was the worst point from my Bradley. Again, I, I'm with Bradley here. If you're gonna fight Logan, I would have tried to get it done in a, a you know a money way. But this this is I guess was way more personal than that. But Mike's like, no wait. You're gonna give away potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to just do it against a, a, a real opponent. Well, <laughs> if he was gonna do it against a real opponent, he would grapple or scrap with some of these MMA guys that are coming on his podcast that he says he could he could beat up in a street fight. I, I mean, I get I guess what he's trying to do, but it just makes no sense. It looks like Bradley and Logan are actually gonna fight. Logan wrestled in high school, boxed Floyd Mayweather. He trained for the past five years. It's not a fair fight. Yeah, Bradley it's a mismatch. Someone with some actual sense. Shout out to Jeff Wittick, man. You wanna talk about a guy that understands what this was gonna be the entire time? Again, of course, this was Logan's fight to win. If they were actually gonna fight at any point, Logan has almost every advantage outside of size. So yeah, I mean, you can't say it better than Jeff just did. This is not in any way, shape, or form going to be a fair fight. Unless Logan breaks his leg, gets careless, and allows Bradley to bear hug him. And Bradley finds a way to choke him. 
that's about all I could see happening that would deter Logan from winning. This whole Bradley Martin thing has become a thing. I told him, I said, I'm coming on the 8th and we're doing it. He said, you don't want to make this a real event? I said, no, look, I don't fucking give a shit about a real event with Bradley Martin. I gotta have a job and a wife. I tagged him in that. Wait, what is that? I don't understand this. Logan says, I don't give a shit about a real event with Bradley Martin. I got a job and a wife. But he'll fight him for free in the street. I guess that means that he doesn't want to put the time and effort into building an event because of his job and he doesn't want to be away from his wife, but he would make more money doing this event to bring home to his wife and his family. And in the event would probably not interfere with his WWE schedule because he's not full time. Anyway, I don't know. Story. And I said, I'll hit you up on the 6th or 8th. Don't let me down, Brad. You're not down to run a real event? I've seen you mention an MMA fight a couple of times. No, bro. I'm going to pull up on you. Facilitated by my friend Mike, the businessman. And we're going to see what happens. Hey, but here's he's the deal. a lot bigger than Logan. Don't put that in. He is, he's much bigger. I feel like he'd be a shit. Well, that's, that's the allure of the fight. People watching this as well think that he can beat me convincingly. I'm gonna stroll in there, probably hungover, and beat his ass. Logan's not wrong here, and I told you guys why just who to five minutes ago, depending on how this video is edited. Yeah, people have a, a preconceived notion about size and mass equaling better. It, it has some importance, but it, it is not the major factor between who is gonna win this fight between Logan and Bradley. And even, again, Logan there being like, yeah, that's the allure of this fight. Yeah, there was some interest in this. And clearly there's interest in it even being off camera because I'm covering it in a video. I, I'm, I am confused as to why Logan wouldn't want to do this as an actual event. Again, it's not like Logan has a a record to protect, right? He's never won a fight, right? He beat Dylan Dennis, but this would be an MMA thing. And it doesn't really matter in this influencer space where you start this whole you know journey or whatever. Maybe Logan thinks he wants to do something a little more legitimate, but I, I honestly would have loved to seen this as an actual event. It would have been fun to see. Can you, can you call him though while we're on the subject? I need him to A, be there when we roll up tomorrow and, and, and B, most importantly, because we're in California, he needs to sign a liability waiver because otherwise he's probably going to sue me if I beat his ass and vice versa, I'm obviously going to sue him if he beats my ass. <laughs> so can you, can, you give, can you give Bradley no, a call? Probably sue him anyway. I'll probably sue him anyway. I was going to say, here we go with the suing shit again. Logan's special move now is the sue mother But dude, the foresight to think of that is even crazy like oh we're in california you got to have this this release liability thing again their youtube backgrounds would ensure that logan understands crazy shit needs to have liability waivers but yeah man logan's dead serious about this i guess but that's what this liability waiver is for so we don't so that doesn't happen well brad it's me what's up man? jake paul <laughs> i'm calling in regards to your tweet on july 27th yeah. where you said and speaking about clicks and views all that come to my gym no cameras no content we can just fight in front of zoo culture so yeah, that was July 27th of last year, almost a year to the day. And Logan has not let go of this thing. And neither has Brad, to be fair. Like, again, there was good reason for them to fight. I just don't understand why they literally wanted to do it either outside of zoo culture in a street fight or inside in a street fight. These two are too good of businessmen to have done it this way, in my opinion. But again, maybe there's just something to be said for, you know, money's not everything and respect and pride and, and all that stuff is. And... I just needed to settle it. Okay, what exactly do you want to do? I told you, I, I wanted to do the, the, you know, the actual event, but it doesn't sound like it's something you're interested in. Let's be casual about it. We'll just do do the street thing. Do you want to grapple? Do you want to do MMA, MMA fight? You want to box? Well, I thought we were just talking about fighting in the street. That's cool too. A oh, street California. That's that's totally that's totally cool too. A Cali a good old ca fashioned California street brawl. Are you gonna try to come again? That is not cool. That is one of the dumbest things either of them could have done. And again, I know there's a lot of pride and a lot of ego involved with this. And and, and Logan obviously is is really really excited about this because Logan should. Be. I think he knew, like everybody that again understands anything about combat sports to a certain degree, knew he was gonna beat Bradley. So it was like, whatever you want to do, I'm going to be better than you at but it. But no, I've said this a million times here on YouTube, and I'll say it again because I, it seems like no one in this video is going to say it. It is a stupid thing, whether you have beef with someone or your friends and you're playing around, do not fight on concrete in the street. Find a boxing gym, get some gloves on. By the way, look at my new rivals, RS100s. I'm, this is not even sponsored. I just love these gloves. If you absolutely have to settle something with conflict and it's not for sport, do it in a controlled manner. That's all I'm saying. Do you want cameras or no? I want to do something bigger, but if I can't, then like, why have any, why have it on the internet if I can just- Bradley, 
That does make sense. Don't, I'm don't, sorry. Don't back out, bro. Come no, on. No, that does make sense. No, no, no. It's not you know, I understand. Why have it on the internet? It's worth everything when you beat my ass, right? Alright, so that was a little bit of an odd thing from those two there. Like I think Logan was like I kind of want to film it, but I don't want to do a full event with you. I guess so that the world could see, obviously, you know, what Logan is, is saying he's going to do this, man, he's going to do to him. But I, I actually don't mind Bradley saying, listen, if we're not going to get paid to do it, it doesn't make sense for us to film it because then we lose out on the opportunity of potentially if we want to do an event in the future or it just doesn't serve whoever loses this. And maybe Bradley in his mind was thinking I might lose this. It just doesn't, it's not worth the risk to do it for absolutely nothing. And again, I don't actually mind that. Like, he's not saying he's scared to do it. And Logan's like, oh, Bradley, you're scared. That's not what he's saying. He's like, I just, we shouldn't film it unless we're going to get paid to do That's it. That's a pretty solid take there from Bradley, I think. Logan says to me, uh, we're going to Zoo Culture right now. Just talk to Bradley. It's happening right now. Well, guess what? My only goal today is making sure that these two men do not actually fight. Because Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm breaking it up. Can you, I'm hey, telling boss, you right now. Boss, would you mind pulling over? We're going to kick him out. <laughs> I'm serious. No, I, if that's your prerogative, I gotta get you out of this I car. I can't do it. I can't let you do it. No, no, no. I can't let you ride in, the, in this car with us if you're gonna stop the fight. You just clickbait. I can't allow it, Mike, bro. Mike, You're a multi-billionaire you know businessman. You know you're crazy? about to be a father. Bro, what if something happens? He thinks this what is about he... him. He like he thinks this is about him. This is, has nothing to do with you. If you didn't notice, you're the odd man out. You're telling me that Mike waited until they were on the way to zoo culture to finally make his last stand and say, yeah, no, I'm not allowing you to fight Brad. That's when the last stand happened. That's when Mike thought, okay, now it's time to be rational. This was all clickbait. Bro, we're, you're 99% of the way there. There's no stopping it now. This time to stop it was when this whole thing was being talked about. The time to stop it was when you went to talk to Brad and say, hey, let's not do this. That was the time to stop it. Now you're in too deep. Good, good, bro. Are you ready? All right, we got waivers. Yeah. <laughs> Bradley's so serious. I love it. These type of situations are, I mean, they can't be comfortable, right? They can never be comfortable. So you're getting, like, this is probably the only part of the video where you're getting real interaction. I think Logan legitimately thought when he pulled up that Bradley was just going to wimp out and not fight him. He's been saying that the whole video. I think he's looking for Bradley to kind of be like, okay, are you going to pull out of this thing? And it, I don't think Brad, I think Bradley's with it. Like, look at his face. Okay. okay. So we're, oh, we're not, so we're doing that? My my thesis is you have cameras everywhere in this gym. Yeah, but I, I agree to not post anything. It, this doesn't say that. Make it say that. I'm down for whatever you want to do like that. But you don't want to film it. I didn't want to film it. No. But you also wanted to fight in front of the zoo culture. I said no cameras, no content. Be in front of zoo culture. Yeah, no cameras, no content. This is specific <coughs> to that. So, so if we're going by the tweet, Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going by. Mm -hmm. No cameras. Let's pop. No cameras. No content. We'll stop. We'll pop out front, like in the tweet. Okay. Wait. Why? No. Why? You do it on the ground with it. It's soft. And then you got yeah, it. Uh, thank. I mean, fair play to Mike. If, if you're gonna stop something from happening, it's the whole. Yeah. Just because you said we do it in the street, then we do it in the street. Right. It's just stupid. This whole thing is not a great idea. But hey, man. Sometimes you just gotta figure it out, I guess. But doing it in the middle of the street is the most moronic part of it. I like. Logan's like, um, I signed mine. Why did you say that? Why did I say what I want to see Jake Yeah, Logan yeah, yeah. Out? I thought, I, I, I thought you, yeah, but I thought you and Jake are cool. No, no, we are, but by the same token, like, if you really felt that way about me contacting you directly, you would have just contacted me directly, not got on the internet and said that. So when you said that about me outwardly. Generally, when yeah. someone says something live on a podcast, it is fair game to reciprocate that live on a podcast. Yeah, it's fair. No. But to say you could have texted me, because I didn't think it was, when I said it, I didn't think it was like some malicious bad thing. But that's my family, bro. And, yeah. and, and, and yes, I haven't always been the best brother ever, right? But I yeah. think that's part of me being a big brother. I f up and I'm working on all of that. I respect me. it. But like, you know, I have to stick up for Jake when I can. I get it. Even if I don't always do it myself. But again, I'm working on all that shit. Yeah, I respect you. It's a cool little moment there. Um, I kind of agree with both guys, right? Like, Logan, I guess, again, he took all this very, very personally. By the way, real quick, I just want you guys to look at something. I just noticed this. Look at Bradley's hands. Yeah, this motherfucker was ready, dude. Again, I, I never expected Bradley to win this. But you got to respect him for if he said he wanted to fight him in the street, whatever, and Logan pulled up, he was ready to run it. This seems like a guy that had been punching the bag and been trying to get his hands ready. You know what I'm saying? That's an interesting part of this. But... 
Uh, what I was going to say is, yeah, like, Logan's right. If Riley says something publicly, Logan has every right to respond publicly. And if he thought, you know, Riley was being disrespectful about his brother, then fair play. Go after him. Logan hasn't, in most cases, had Jake's back in these public little spats. And not to say that he always has to, to go and fight everyone that criticizes Jake or whatever, but, you know, I think it's been widely shown in, in cases, you know, whether it's KSI or somebody else, that Logan, he doesn't necessarily want to get involved in this one. He decided to. So fair play to him. You got to respect it for taking up for your brother. But also, you know, Bradley, I can see where he was coming from, where he didn't think it was a massive deal. Like, it wasn't like, yeah, I, I hope Jake gets knocked out because I don't like him. I think he was just probably trying to make some content for the fight and Nate Diaz was sitting there in front of him. I think, again, it's a cool little moment, but I'm really interested in the backs of Bradley's hands. That man been punching, getting ready, okay? You know that. Thank you. I respect you too, bro. For real. This is cool. I like the new location. Thank you. Let's fucking... Let's fucking do it. All right, so let's head. Let's go. Let's leave. 260, bro. Camera's down? Yeah. As stated on social media, there's no known footage of this altercation. There is an off chance that Bradley not capitalized, disrespectful, is harboring unseen security footage, although he did turn off all the machines prior to the fight. Okay. This, however, what the fight sounded like, so imagine you were there for a moment. <laughs> yeah, nah, definitely not. Okay, so we saw this part, right? We, we saw the whole interaction after the fight part, and this is where it begins and where social media had a field day with Bradley here. <laughs> the whole... Logan with the half collar tie and just slapping Bradley on the back of the neck and pulling him in for the big brother hug. Bradley going double eyes closed, double arms around, one around the shoulder, one around the waist. Someone said on social media, never hug a grown man with two arms closing your eyes. This is the moment that most people thought Bradley Martin lost, whatever this was. Now we didn't know what it was at this point, but a couple of clues give you some context, right? One being, this uh, red mark on the back of, of Bradley's head. You could say, okay, yeah, that could be, you know, uh, Matt Byrne or whatever from a grappling session, but there's another couple of marks here on his stomach, which again could just be, you know, slaps or friction from grappling paws, but there's a couple other clues here that lead you to believe and I think is pretty much the full proof that Bradley he probably got worked a little bit here. And I think Logan's going to explain a little bit more, but I don't actually mind that. The fact that Bradley even did it, the fact that he knew Logan had all this experience, had all this grappling stuff. And yes, Bradley was bigger. And yes, Bradley was talking his shit too. So Logan, fair play to him for showing up and doing it as well. You got to respect it, man. So uh, let's take a look. Thank you. Good shit. Good stuff. Bro, <laughs> thanks for letting that happen. Yeah. Sometimes, bro, boys got to be boys, man. <laughs> Like, bro, yo, well, well, he, he has Here's the part where you see a little bit more details about what happened potentially to Bradley. So I assume that Bradley doesn't know how to box at all. Um, I've seen him, you know, throw some punches. He's a strong guy or whatever. But if you'll take a look, you can see his right eye is already swelling. I don't know about the left one, but the right eye definitely got hit with something. That's some swelling going on. I would assume, again, because Bradley probably doesn't, you know, box a lot. His stance probably isn't necessarily is bladed to where he can protect his back eye or his hands probably weren't up and he was either square or again just his hands were down and logan popped him with a jab i would assume that's what happened i think logan goes on to explain a little bit but like i said you can see he definitely got tagged and that eye was was swelling a bit it's wrestling experience but if you had locked in that that hold or that uh choke yeah, it, yeah one hand yeah but still one brad hand is almost like a you can just, you can read their body language, you know? Everybody's like bigging up Brad, like, oh yeah, you know, if you would have done this, doing that. And again, you have to, like I said, fair play to him, but you can see Bradley's not, he's not happy with whatever happened, right? So you can see. But locked in that, that Like, hold. look, he's like, yeah, well, yeah, I could have, maybe, you know? It's 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 one of those things where I think he knows, like everybody in that room knows, he, he did not win whatever this was. But I actually like this reaction from Brad, it's not like, He's like, okay, well, I just, I survived and whatever. He's like disappointed and wants to, to get better at this, which is in some cases, the start of most people's combat sports journey. Bro, it's just mad respect. You just didn't back down. No, I know. That's respect, bro. Mad fuck. Oh. Hey, you're gonna make a pull up for the face. There you go, I'm proud of you, thank you. Oh, I told him he was proud of him. This is what I'm saying. And again, nothing wrong with that. And these are all real words, but you know, Logan's essentially telling him, hey, I'm proud of you. You know, I, I I didn't think you'd do it, but you know, I handled it. You run your mouth about me, I run my mouth about you. Yeah. And like, now at least, by the way, that was nothing, Brad, I'll be honest. Yeah. There's levels to this shit. Why are we, why are we training? So, again, Logan just straight up, I guess, tells him like, yo, I was, I was going light. So yeah, 
I mean, I think we could pretty much put it to bed. Logan, Logan did work here. Why are we, why are we trying to do something for real? I, I'm telling him I have an offer for you. What with you? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what he's I saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like a real, like a real meaningful. Yeah, if you train for real, maybe. But I might have an offer for you for uh, oh, an sick. actual MMA fight. That'd be so sick. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Remember, we heard earlier in the episode Logan talking about some $10 million offer thing. I know I said I didn't want to do a real event, but I, I, I kind of think I may have a competitive offer. Is it Solomon? Is no. those mother Famio? No. Hi. <laughs> 10 mil for a fight with Bradley. And in which case, maybe I do want to have a real event. <laughs> now it's making me wonder, did Logan this whole time want to just get a feel for where Bradley was before he decided to jump into a $10 million offer? Was this 3D level chess to say, okay, I'll go do this off camera to see either how good Bradley is or how much better I am to weigh the risk of even taking this fight. If so, it's a genius move. It's a risky one, but it's a genius move from Logan. If he does follow through and say, yeah, no, I, I think... I think I want to do this fight, which if everything that we're hearing now is the truth and that Logan pretty much worked him, we might see this thing rematched in MMA and Bradley's excited about it. So I'm down. I, I, this was the thing I think they should have done in the first place, but Logan getting a little sparring session in there beforehand to see if this would be competitive or not, or at least see where the levels were. Yeah, fair play. This dude is, he's an evil genius, bro. When he had me in that guillotine, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was, I was chilling. Yeah. I knew I go, as soon as this let's go, he's. Yeah. And he's strong. He he. If I didn't wrestle, he, right. he would have been able to like push me off. I just know how to like maneuver. And you pull and what? You pulled his arm off. Well, he had it in one hand. It's not. He no, didn't there's lock. no he there's didn't no lock. scenario where that gets me. This is what right. we're talking about. Logan had just enough experience to understand he was safe in what otherwise in like a regular street brawl. If you get a guy in a one-arm headlock, which is essentially what he's saying that Bradley got him in, you'd be panicking a little bit. You'd be trying to flail and kick and do things and waste a lot of energy and potentially put yourself deeper into the choke. Even if it is one arm, like he said, it's a Bradley Martin arm, you'd be in some real trouble. But Logan had enough grappling experience to probably go two hands on one on the one arm that was around his neck. And eventually when Brad got tired, Logan was going to be able to just overwhelm him. Exactly what you would think would happen with an experienced combat athlete, at least to some degree versus someone with zero experience. Fight starts, I hit him with the jab. He got a little bit of a mark on his face. I think it's from that, because it's the only punch I really hit him with. I hit him with a jab. He tried to take me down and, and, and kind of, we went back into a, a wall so he couldn't take me down. I got in double underhooks and went for a bear hook. Oh man, Jake is locked in on this breakdown, son. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so essentially so far, Logan is hit him with the jab, which I think has got him in the eye. I think that's what Logan's talking about. Bradley immediately shot in on him. Logan having a pretty decent wrestling background. Got, I think, as he said, he ran to the wall. I think there's pads on the wall at Brad's gym. He got to double unders, which is the right thing to do, and cinched up a body lock. It was distributed too far back, so I couldn't get it. And then we kind of got into a weird clinch position. Um, we backed up. He, he, he threw a punch. He missed. I went under him. And he, he kind of tried to get like a guillotine and lock my so head. It looks like Logan, the way he's like motioning, would have gone to Bradley's lead leg, which Bradley, I guess, would be an orthodox stance, outside leg single. And from that, Bradley tried to probably, with his lead left hand, wrap around Logan's head. But maybe just, I don't know if he didn't cinch with the other hand on the headlock or couldn't find his grip or whatever, but just probably swooped and tried to headlock him as Logan's trying to, to run the pipe on a single leg. So I just used that, picked his ass up, slammed him on the ground. Then, and then instead of finishing the takedown and maybe, you know, going to a double or getting to the body lock, he literally just picks up a 260 pound man and slams him. That's freak strength. So, uh, and then, but he had his, he had his one arm in, like, he, you know, a guillotine, you're supposed to do two. Yeah. So he like had a decent position, but you're never gonna get me with one arm, so I just like slowly just pe stay two calm. Two on one, you can see his two off. hands. You can see he said I peeled it off, right? So Bradley had the one arm off. He uses two on one, good technique. Again, I don't know why Bradley wouldn't try to go two hands and clasp and try to gable grip or something, S grip. But instead, Logan says two on one, pulls the hand off. It off, full mount. Now I'm ready to tee off. So Logan must have been either side control or half guard, I don't know. And then just goes right to full mount. And he knew that, so he flipped to his stomach. I'm, I, I, I had a rear naked choking for one second, but it slipped out. Get legs in? No legs. I didn't even need it. Need to, cause yeah. he, cause he was flat. Oh, I like Jake. I like Jake saying, "Oh, did you get hooks?" Essentially, right? Did you get two hooks in? As Bradley flipped to his back, cause Logan would have had backpack position, 
And Logan said, I didn't need to because he flattened out. So Bradley essentially flattened himself out, I assume, because Logan wouldn't have to have flattened him out if he didn't have hooks in. And now Logan is in backpack position. I assume postured up, ready to start wailing. And it would make sense because Bradley, if you remember, had, and Leo, you can put the, the picture back up, Bradley had the mark on the back side of his head and on his ribs where Logan probably was on top of him just raining shots down uh, from the top position. And then and then just popped his head like a speed bag. Bro, and it was, that shit was bouncing. It was soft too. Just bing, bing, bing. Boss. Hey, yo, Bob. All right, so there you go, man. Fair play. Uh, I think we, we've covered this as best we can. Long story short, uh, yeah, sometimes I guess you just need to handle this stuff. If you have that much of a personal issue, I would rather people do that in a more controlled environment. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to go street fight anybody because that's not the way to handle things. But sometimes you can't just handle it with words, I guess. And sometimes it's, it's bigger than doing an event. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little bit of a preview for an event that Logan wants to do with Bradley, maybe. Or this was just something he had to get off his chest and Bradley had to step up to the plate. Regardless, I guess respect to all involved. They squashed it and no one got hurt. So I guess that's good. But the long story short of this is it looked like Logan beat Bradley in whatever this was, the street fight to some degree. And uh, they might run it back. They might not. But regardless, for Logan, it feels like he needed this for his psyche and to see where he was at. And for Bradley, it feels like he needed to step up and show he wasn't just some big bodybuilder guy. Both of them did that. Fair play. It's all done. You guys let me know what you think down below. What happened here in your opinion and... Are these two going to fight in MMA, or if not these two, is Logan going to fight in MMA? $10 million offer, apparently, but I don't have those answers. So, I guess we'll find 